Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here today. I am Pushpa from Zoho Books team, and I am delighted to welcome to our year-end webinar. We will discussing the essential activities we need to perform in Zoho Books. If you have any audio or visual issues, please post it in the chat window. So, without any further ado, let's start the session. Today, we have Ilamati with us to guide us through the detailed year-end task in Zoho Books. Over to you, Ilamati. So, uh, thank you everyone for joining the session today. Myself, Ilamati, product expert in Zoho Books. So, today we'll be looking into the best practices for financial year-end closing. I'll just starting the session now. So, for most businesses, year-end is the time to dread. This uh, tends to be the busiest part of the financial year as there are many tasks need to be uh, taken care of including sending customer statements, reconciling bank accounts, preparing financial documents, filing taxes and many others. So based on the business model you, you choose to follow, you will need to take care of uh, a few year end tasks. Most of uh, these can be performed on daily or monthly or even quarterly basis if you want to uh, lighten the load during the uh, closure of the financial year right so uh, now we'll uh, discuss like uh, what is the basic uh, things that needs to be followed uh, for closing your zoho books uh, at the end of the financial year and how you can use zoho books to uh, take care of these tasks so that you can get a complete accurate uh, set of financial records for your businesses so before moving into this, so we should know that Zoho Books will automatically calculate the closing balance of previous year as the opening balance for the next financial year. So this will greatly reduce the manual work of updating each and every module for every new financial years. So it is necessary that uh, all the tasks which we are going to see uh, now should be performed to ensure that the correctness of the values in your Zoho Books, I mean in your books of accounts. Uh, such that the new financial year starts with the correct opening balance. Now let's move on to the tasks which we need to perform. So the first task we are going to perform is the item revaluation. Then we'll be checking the draft transactions. Then uh, we'll be seeing collecting uh, pending payments and writing of bad debts. Once that is done, in the payable part we'll be uh, seeing the expenses which are recorded already and uh, evaluating your uh, advances with vendors and uh, reviewing your accounts uh, used in the transactions uh, in the previous financial year bank account reconciliation and then currency adjustment if that involves in your uh, uh, business then uh, we'll be seeing the transaction locking then uh, gst filing and finally we'll be seeing the scheduling of reports which means that uh, you need to send your year and report to your accountant or some other person who are in charge right? so for that you can just get schedule the reports so the first thing is item revaluation so uh, in some businesses where uh, goods play a major role revaluation of item needs to be done it is always suggested to use inventory valuation summary report in Zoho box to get the exact value and or uh, stock of the uh, inventory. Let's uh, get into Zoho box. Here I am going into the uh, inventory uh, valuation summary report. Here you can see the exact stock on hand as of date. Uh, along with the stock on hand you can see the inventory asset value also. So uh, this means uh, why we are uh, viewing this particular report is that we need to make sure that your physical stock number matches the uh, reported inventory number. Like if there is any mismatch between your physical stock and the inventory, I mean reported inventory numbers, we need to make some adjustment to nullify the same. For that, what we will be doing is we'll be creating an inventory adjustment. So basically why inventory adjustment is created is to uh, adjust our inventory or asset value at some point of time based on our requirement. Okay, let's uh, see how the inventory adjustment can be created. The inventory adjustment is of two types. First one is the quantity adjustment and second one is the value adjustment. So first let's see the quantity adjustment. Here you need to enter the required details over here and choose the required item for which uh, we are going to uh, 
uh, adjust the inventory so this is a quantity available so i just need to increase the stock in that case i'd be uh, having the quantity adjustment and i'm just entering the new quantity which is 4 so the quantity adjusted will get updated automatically so if i update here as 1 the quantity adjusted will get adjusted as like the quantity adjusted value will get populated as minus 1 so this is how the inventory will get adjusted for quantity uh, adjustment so uh, this type of adjustment may be required uh, when some items could have been stolen or missed while uh, transporting uh, the same from uh, one place to another place at that point of time you may need to uh, reduce the quantity which is actually available in your inventory at that point of time you can use this quantity adjustment so next is the value adjustment so uh, when uh, will this value adjustment will uh, be needed is uh, there could have been some drop in the market value for your inventory for uh, any particular item at that point of time you may need to reduce the value like uh, the current value needs to be reduced in your uh, inventory so that all the item rate will get automatically adjusted so here the current value is rupees thousand but due to some change in my market so the item current value should be 800 so uh, the adjusted value will become 200 so this is how you will be posting value or quantity adjustment so uh, once you are done with this uh, adjustment you can just click on convert to adjusted if you click on this option this will get uh, automatically updated in the system and uh, quantity or value will get updated or else if you just need some uh, uh, clarification or if you need any approval uh, from uh, any person you can just uh, click on save as uh, draft option so that this will be available in your zoho box but it, it will not hit your reports so that uh, you can just check it afterwards and uh, once you are uh, done with this uh, uh, I mean confirmation you can just click on convert to adjust it so that uh, it will get updated in your accounts so uh, we are done with the item uh, item adjustment so uh, we might be having some of the items which are not even working uh, I mean which are not even used uh, for uh, sales uh, those type of items can be classified or identified using the ABC classification reports under inventory section and you can mark them as inactive so the C type of uh, uh, C type uh, I mean C uh, class uh, items are all uh, low performing items in Zoho books so you can just identify what are all the items which is coming under this class and uh, go to uh, items module choose the required items which are uh, performing low click on bulk action and mark them as inactive such that these items will not get reflected while creating transactions in your uh, uh, Zoho books so by this way you can ensure that the next financial year can be started with the correct item value and quantity uh, this uh, is the inactive item which I have shown you now so the next one is uh, account fixed asset depreciation so uh, what is the fixed asset depreciation you all know that you would have purchased some items for your business purposes and uh, on each year this uh, items uh, value will get deprecated automatically and you just need to post the same in your zoho books so for that we are suggesting you to create a manual journal so this uh, furniture and equipment account is actually an asset account that is a fixed asset account and the depreciation expense is an expense account so you need to post a manual journal crediting the asset account and debiting the depreciation um, I mean which means the expense account so the next one is checking the draft transaction and complete all invoicing so in our Zoho books we might have uh, valid invoices which are in draft status and it could be because we might have missed some uh, invoices uh, that has to be sent to the customer or we could have uh, missed marking those invoices as sent due to which some of the receivable amount could be on hold this is the right time to check all those invoices using the draft filter which is shown here 
so you need to validate those invoices and perform the necessary action as per your requirement so uh, that is either you can uh, send it to your customers and uh, collect the payment i'll just show you the same in uh, zoho box under sales module click on invoices here you have uh, different uh, invoice status so uh, we are choosing draft here so if you need to you know uh, mark those invoices as sent or uh, submit for approval you can just click on this three dot icon and submit for approval if approval is not enabled in your organization then you will be having an option called mark as sent or else if you are having an option i mean uh, if you have enabled e invoice in your portal you will be having an option called push to ir so this option is specifically there uh, because you have enabled uh, e invoice in your organization that's because uh, all those invoices has to be sent to the customer only after generating the only after sending it to the iron portal and uh, generate the qr code for the same so that's why we have this option so based on your business requirement you can proceed with that so uh, in addition to this if you uh, have any open sales order or active projects that are yet to be built and send out uh, invoices for them you can check the same in zoho box under project summary report So in project summary report, you can see built versus unbuilt. So these are all the hours which are built already. So uh, this is the unbuilt hours. So these hours need to be built. Uh, that is built in the sense those has to be uh, converted as an invoice. So you can uh, check this. So for this particular project, 18 unbuilt hours are there for the customer damage. So if you would like to you know build these uh, uh, unbuilt hours within this particular financial year you can do the same by checking this uh, project summary report so you can see a detailed uh, project summary report for uh, the uh, customer uh, danish so if you would like to uh, build the same that is if you would like to create a invoice for the customer danish you can do the same and here you will be having all the unbuilt uh, expenses and uh, unbuilt projects if you just click on it you just need to choose the project and all the details will get updated here yes so by this way you can uh, build the unbuilt expenses for this particular customer and close the i mean uh, close the invoice by getting payment from the customer so apart from this uh, uh, option which i have showed you now we have another uh, option under expense uh, tab itself so there uh, we have a view called unbuilt expenses you can just click on these options as well and mark it as billable okay so the next step is collecting pending payments and writing of bad debts as the year draws to close uh, make sure that you deal with any payments that you have not yet received uh, using the customer balances, using the customer balance summary report in Zoho box, uh, uh, I mean you can check what are all the outstanding balances and find out how much money your customer still owes to you so that you can remind them and collect the payment now to close your uh, accounting. So this is the invoice module. So similar to the previous uh, one, you can just filter out the overdue transaction for which your customer is yet to uh, pay. So you can see the balances over here. I'll just uh, show it in Zoho box right away. So similar to the draft invoices, you can just see unpaid or overdue invoices. So you'll be having the list of invoices that are yet to be paid by your uh, customer. Uh, along with this if you would like to view it as a report you can just uh, check in in the uh, customer balance summary report so you can see um, how much amount is invoiced the amount uh, received and the closing balance so if you would like to view like what are all the i mean what is the uh, amount your customer owe to you or uh, some in some cases your customer would have uh, 
already given you some amount in advance or your customers could have some credit notes that will be available as credits in zoho books in that particular case you have um, you have to see all those in a single page uh, we suggest you to use this report by customizing it so we have different columns over here so you can choose whichever column you want to see based on your requirement so here uh, i have customer name invoiced amount amount received along with this what you can do is to see the uh, unused advance payment you can add this advance payment option and then credit note balance receivable amount and the total available credits so i have added four columns over here okay so uh, the unused uh, so the amount uh, received is the amount which has been already received from the customer so the ad unused advance payment is that your customer would have already paid you some advance amount which are yet to be applied to your invoices those can be uh, seen under this uh, unused advance payment these payments can also be seen under the payments received tab i'll just uh, show in some min some minutes okay and then the credit note balance is the balance which is available for this particular customer by creating a credit note and which is yet to be applied that is it is a open credit note available uh, uh, available right now and the receivable amount so this is the total amount which has to be received from the customer so this available credit is the summation of unused advance payment plus the credit note balance is the available credits i'll just show you uh, how this can be uh, viewed in the invoice tab that is the payments receipt tab so here you can see uh this is the customer advance so this is a filter for uh, uh filtering the customer advance alone so here you can see what is the amount you have received from your customer as advance and uh, how much amount is being not used which is available for applying it to the uh your uh, invoices so uh, the next case is if you have received any advance payments or have credit notes but you won't be delivering uh, goods or services this financial year or in the foreseeable future you can choose to refund the amount what you can do is you can just click on this payment either you can apply it to invoices or if you would like to make a re uh, i mean a uh, refund for uh, not making any sale further you can just click on here and click on refund just enter the amount and other relevant details and just click on save okay so uh, this is the total uh, receivable uh, thing in addition to this there is one more option so in some cases uh, it may become apparent that the customer will not pay either due to prolonged delay or termination of business relationship you can track the duration you have waited for uh, payment by using the aging uh, details report either uh, you can use aging summary report or details report the summary report will having the consolidated value of the customer whereas the aging detail report will be having the uh, aging details as per uh, invoices for each invoice so what is the uh, age of the invoice in zoho books so under aging summary report you can see for how many days uh the invoices are pending with this particular customer by this way you can find out whether uh, you will be receiving the payment or not if you will not be uh, if you will not be receiving the payment for those uh, invoices you can categorize them and uh, convert it uh, to a bad debt account how you can do is you just need to click on this uh, drop down and click on uh, right of option enter the reason and click uh, write off so that it will get accounted in the bad debt account and classified as an expense so this is what i have been uh, referring you uh, about the write off uh, 
uh, transaction so the next thing we are going to see is recording expenses and evaluating your advances with vendor for payables you can check the vendor balance summary report to know the exact money which you need to pay to your vendor and set up all your overdue uh, or unpaid bills then check if vendor uh, write off to ensure the proper accounting for outstanding uh, vendor balances this involves reviewing your vendor accounts and writing off any outstanding amounts that are likely unlikely to be paid so in zoho books you can just use the vendor balance summary report so this is similar to the customer balance summary report you can just click on customize option add the required uh, fields such as unused advance payment the payable amount available credits and the balances which are available through vendor credits so all the details will be listed over here the amount which we need to pay to our uh, uh, vendor and the uh, advance amount which we have paid to our vendor what is the total payable amount what is the available credits through the vendor credits uh, and the total credits everything will be listed in this uh, single uh, report itself so similar to the uh, previous one uh, we might be having cases where we will not be doing any business with the vendors for uh, which advance payments have already been made in such cases we can record those uh, payments as refund uh, similar to the customer advances i'll just show you how it can be done so under payments made click on advance payments and click on refund so by this way you will get the payment which you have already paid to your uh, uh, vendor the next is reviewing uh, accounts used in the transaction uh, before this uh, i just need to add one more thing which is uh, if you have missed any uh, transaction to be uh, updated in your zoho books say for example if you have any physical copy of bills um, that has to be uploaded in zoho books but you have missed it and you are at the verge of uh, uh, filing this so and so uh, report or uh, something uh, in your organization as internally and you would like to do it uh, as a quick action you can just use our advanced auto scan feature through which you can just scan the bill and upload the data into your zoho books document section under this document section the uploaded file will be available and post which you can just directly create a transaction be it bill or expense or uh, vendor credits whatever you want you can just create it and uh, add it under the respective module so we suggest you to use this auto scan feature always because it's as fast as uh, like so uh, the next one is reviewing uh, accounts used in the transaction so similar to the item revaluation it is necessary to review the accounts created in zoho books you need to check for accounts which are not used for a certain period of time and if they are not going to be used you can mark them as inactive i'll just uh, show it in zoho books now under accountant module click on chart of accounts so you can see what are all the uh, accounts uh, which are available in your zoho books under all accounts you can see every account which has been created in zoho books be it active or inactive so say for example if you are not going to use this particular account called workshop you can just click on this and mark it as inactive so that while creating any transaction this particular account which has been marked as inactive will not be listed over there so uh, it will uh, actually uh, avoid uh, confusions in uh, while creating the transaction further if you have any uh, transaction under a wrong account and you have just identified it now in that particular case you can just transfer those transaction from one account to another account using the bulk update option i'll just show you how you can do that so under bulk update option filter click on uh, filter and bulk update choose the account from which you would like to 
मूव द ट्रांजेक्शन फ्रॉम विच यू वुड लाइक टू मूव द ट्रांजेक्शन सो फ्रॉम सेल्स अकाउंट आई जस्ट नीड टू मूव द ट्रांजेक्शन टू अनदर अकाउंट चूज द स्पेसिफिक डेट रेंज सो आई एम हैविंग दिस मच ट्रांजेक्शन अंडर सेल्स अकाउंट एंड आई वुड लाइक टू मूव दैम टू अ डिफरेंट अकाउंट क्लिक ऑन अपडेट एंड द न्यू अकाउंट विल बी सेल्स टू कस्टमर्स सो इफ आई क्लिक ऑन रीप्लेस द ट्रांजेक्शन विच आर राइट नाउ अवेलेबल अंडर सेल्स विल गेट मूव टू द सेल्स टू कस्टमर्स ऑप्शन Yes, the details of the account has been updated. So if I go and uh, check all those transactions which I have selected for this particular date range, uh, the accounts which are associated will get moved uh, to sales to customer account. So this is a bulk update option, which could be useful uh, in many uh, business scenarios where you have updated wrong account uh, in uh, some transaction and you you have found it out now. and if you would love to change those transaction you just don't need to you know get into the invoices and change it you can just do it in a single click using this bulk update option uh the next one is uh, next task which we would be performing is the bank account reconciliation so basically reconciliation will help you to identify the discrepancies possible bank errors that has happened in your account it will also let you know what transactions you have authorized that have not yet cleared the account such as unchecked checks this tds task can be made much simpler if you do a little bit each month you can achieve this process without any error by matching or categorizing the bank fees in zoho books so if you go to the banking module and choose the required bank account so basically what you need to do is you need to either match with these transaction or you have to categorize the transactions manually so this is the uh, task which you need to perform for each and uh, uh, every feed you have it in your bank account or if you don't want to uh, do this or if you know a specific pattern say for example uh, you would be paying a uh, rent for your uh, business location month on month with the same description or same amount or during the same date range in that case you can uh, make the system to uh, categorize it automatically and mark it as recognized for you by using the transaction rules so click on transaction manage transaction rules click on plus new rule so uh, i am just creating a new rule so for the example i have uh, uh, mentioned now so i am just clicking on withdrawals and need to choose the category so be it description or uh, pay or same uh, amount so i am just choosing the amount for uh, if the amount is equal to 10000 it needs to be marked as expense under the expense account labor and uh, if i know the vendor i can choose the vendor as well mention the gst treatment for them the destination of supply whether it's a uh, goods or uh, service whether it needs to be a uh, taxable or tax exemption so all those details so this is similar to creating a transaction but only for one time that is you are creating a rule based on this rule if you are getting any fees that will be automatically uh, uh, marked as recognized either you can just men, uh, you can choose whether this rule uh, need to uh make the bank statement as recognized or categorized based on your preference the system will uh, do that work for you so these are all the uh, tips and tricks you can uh, use while you know reconciling your accounts or doing your day to day operation so um, uh, once these are all done like either matching or categorizing or you can set the transaction rules once all these things are done you can just proceed with the reconciling account so if you just click on reconcile account click on reconcile now so just choose the required date range and uh, enter the closing balance 
so yeah uh, my closing balance is not matching with the actual balance uh, in my zoho books so that's why i'm getting a difference of 2 to 5 uh, rupees so your uh, basic thing like uh, for reconciling this account the difference should be zero only then uh, your bank balance is matching with your zoho books so that's what it means right so uh, now we are uh, done with uh, reconciling uh, your bank account so the next thing would be currency adjustment so this task will come into picture if your business involves multi currency transaction as these transactions will revolve around the exchange rate of the respective currency it is mandatory to post an adjustment at the end of the year based on the expected payment the exchange gain or loss will be calculated for the open invoices and bills based on the exchange rate updated in the transaction hence you need to adjust the uh, currency rate to have an insight on the profit or loss incurred during the change in the exchange rates under accountant module click on currency adjustment i'm click i'm clicking on make an adjustment so uh, the rate would be automatically updated if i am choosing australian dollar or whatever the rate so if i am just putting it as rupees 80 so the transaction uh, which are all associated with this currency uh, will be updated over here so the actual balance is 9.28 aud the balance based on the exchange rate feed the actual inr balance based on the exchange rate feed is 500 however i have uh, uh, updated the exchange rate as 80 so the revalued balance is 742 rupees and 40 paise so you can just see whether it's a gain or loss based on this revalued balance and balance so uh, the system will be automatically calculating the gain or loss and post it in the uh, as a journal automatically in the uh, gain or loss account so you can just click on this option and if you would like to make an adjustment you can just select the required uh, um, i mean line items and click on make an adjustment that this will as i said this will automatically post a journal at the back end associating the uh, required accounts so if there are any unpaid transactions that you wish to close in this financial year so you need to perform this currency adjustment so to know the profit or loss so when you record the payment in the next financial year it will get automatically adjusted to the uh, new currency rate which has been which will be updated while recording the payment okay so further uh, uh, regarding the currency uh, if you wish to enable the auto exchange rate you can enable the same in zoho books by clicking on settings currencies and click on enable exchange rate feed so uh, basically uh what this option will do is it will automatically uh pick the current exchange rate for this for any particular uh, currency as on date so you don't need to enter these rates each time as the system will check and update the current uh, date exchange rate automatically let me show you the uh, uh, one example for that so here you can see uh, the currency is usd yes as on uh, 14th march 2024 1 usd is equal to 82.822 ina so this is the uh, rate which has been fetched automatically by the system if you would like to change the uh, uh, exchange rate you can do it however if the mentioned option is not enabled you need to update this exchange rate each and every time you are creating a transaction so if your business involves multi currency transaction we suggest you to enable this option so uh, the next task is the transaction locking once all the previously mentioned tasks are done you may wish to lock your transaction to avoid any discrepancies or deviation in the transactions or values of the particular financial year 
in that case you will have to use the transaction locking feature which is supported for specific modules such as sales purchases or banking or accountant or if you would like to um, lock all the transactions in your zoho book books up to a specific point of time that is up to a specific date you can use this option switch to lock all, all transaction that is you can lock the transactions uh, using this partial uh, locking feature you can lock uh, the transactions of the sales module or the other models which are listed over here for a certain month or till date if needed if you wish to edit some transactions in the lock period you can unlock uh, i mean you can do a partial undo unlock to edit those transactions under accountant module choose transaction locking so as i have said before you can just click on this lock option again sales if you would like to lock only the sales module or if you would like to lock all the uh, transactions in your zoho books you can click this option and proceed uh, so i'll just show you a demo so the lock date is 14 3 2024 now i'd like to uh, edit the transaction uh, which is available in January alone. In that particular case, uh, I would do unlock partially. So the period is January, 1st January to 31st of January. So now I'll be able to, uh, you know, edit the transaction which have been partially unlocked. That is from 1st January to 31st January. Apart from that, I will not be able to edit any of the transaction till 14-3-2024. You can also unlock it completely. So uh, the next thing is the GST filing. So if you are pushing the transaction or summary to GST portal from Zoho Books or you are filing uh, directly in GST portal and marking it as filed in Zoho Books then you need to make sure to mark all the returns in the respective financial year as marked as filed to avoid any discrepancies between your Zoho Books and the GST portal. Also make sure that uh, whether you have uh, filed your uh, GSTR 9 annual return as one of the check while uh, performing this year end task. So we have come to the last uh, task which is scheduling a report like reviewing your yearly report and scheduling report for uh, stakeholders. So you can view your uh, profit and loss report to know how well your business has been performed last year and to know where your money goes uh, out and comes in can be identified using the cash flow report. By this way you can analyze your current performance and plan for the uh, upcoming days by setting budgets, new strategies for increasing sales, reduction uh, in expenses incurred for business etc. So once all uh, the above process done, your accountant might uh, need this report uh, such as uh, profit and loss, cash flow, balance sheet, inventory summary report, sales and purchase report, GST reports and all. So you just need to share with them. In that case, you can either add them as an accountant in your Zoho box or you can just uh, give the data to your accountant. So if you wish to give it uh, the reports to your uh, accountant, you can just use this scheduled report option. In the schedule report, you can just update the frequency when this report has to be generated, at what time it has to start, uh, and all you can at what time and date it has to start. You can mention all those details here and the email recipients. These email recipients will have only the users of your organization. If that particular accountant is not the user of your organization, you can just update the email address over here and choose the uh, report type as well. So once you are done with this, you can just click on save at the mentioned date and time and frequency. The report will get automatically, I mean, uh, the report will get scheduled and it will be sent automatically to your, uh, I mean, to the uh, recipient. So now uh, we are done with the uh, task which need to be performed for closing the year-end uh, uh, procedures. 
so the next is uh, starting of a new financial year so what we will be seeing here is updating the transaction series distribution of profits configuring budgets and reminders so the first one is updating the transaction series most of us would uh, usually like to have a new transaction series during the start of each financial year such that we can identify the transaction period without even looking into their full details and for other purposes also so this can be done under transaction series in settings let me get into zoho books to show you the same so this is the transaction number series tab here you can see multiple transaction series and uh, i'll just show you how you can just create a new transaction series click on plus new series you can set a prefix to differentiate the series from the last uh, year end and set a new starting number uh, starting number in the auto generation so this is auto generation number field if you just set some number be it 14 so uh, this is the first number uh, would be generated for the credit note for uh, the next credit note it will get automatically updated as 15 so this will help the system to generate the consecutive transaction number further uh, as i have said before you can have multiple transaction series for a single year so for uh, like this you can set a prefix and starting number for all the modules here so once you are done with uh, creating a transaction series uh, i would just like to update you that you can create multiple transaction series for a single year uh, uh, based on your businesses like if you are having multi stream sales for example if you are uh, having a hypermarket where you will be selling clothing groceries and other appliances everything for that you might wish to have a separate transaction series so that you would be able to differentiate between the transaction or the sections under which these has to be categorized so for those things you can just create multiple transaction series and you can update the respective transaction series while creating the invoices or bills accordingly so the next one is distribution of profits in zoho books the last year profit will be tracked under retained year earnings in in the next year so this profit needs to be shared or distributed in a new financial year for that you can post the journal uh, having a retained earning account uh, debit and uh, equity account as credit equity or distribution account as credit so uh, i have already created a journal over here so uh, this is how will be uh, distributing the profit so uh, the next thing is uh, configuring budgets to compare and forecast your uh, business performance we would be configuring budgets in general so this budget in zoho books needs to be updated year on year so that we can do the uh, forecasting and compare how we are performing uh, based on yearly basis so let me show you the same under accountant module you can choose the budgets you can just see the budgets which has been already created for the fiscal year 23 24 so now we are going to create it for 24 25 now you can add the required accounts create budget so for creating budget we have three option first one is updating manually say i can update one like over here this is a manual update or if you would like to prefill from the previous years actual you can just click on here you just need to choose which years budget and prefill so based on the uh, uh, previous year actuals the data will get updated automatically or else if you would like to auto fill uh, any of the uh, particular account you can just click on this auto fill just update the values over here and apply so it will get auto fill you just need to enter only uh, one value and that will get updated automatically for all the uh, selected periods so this is how you can just create uh, budgets and based on this you will be uh, i mean uh, having the total profit or loss at the end
so the next uh, and the final thing which we would be doing before starting the year is to set up a reminder throughout the fis- uh, fiscal year you need to set, uh, send reminders to your customers who have not paid you on time so that you can stay on top of your cash flow you can save yourself a lot of last minute stress that comes up with the customer follow up by setting up a automatic reminders in zoho box so that customers will receive follow up emails uh, periodically to set an automatic uh, reminder go to the uh, reminders under settings under settings go to reminders and notifications that you have the manual reminders you can either use this or it would be better if uh, you choose to use the automated reminders based on the days mentioned in this schedule the reminders will get triggered automatically so this particular automated reminder is for remind 5 days after the expected payment date based on the expected payment date you can set this reminder or else if you would like to set reminders based on due date you can just enable this option so you can uh, even update like what is the content that needs to be delivered to your end customer and all and you can choose the cc bcc from email address from which email address this email has to be sent to your end customer uh, all those uh, uh, customizations can be uh, done here so this is a email reminder apart from that we have uh, uh, sms reminders as well so uh, the recent option which we have launched is reminders through whatsapp so this whatsapp integration is available in all our paid plans you just need to configure your account with the registered mobile number uh, facebook manager account and a whatsapp business account with these three things you can configure your uh, whatsapp business for your, in, in your organization so this is a particular payment reminder and this is the sms template like this is the exact uh, message whatsapp message which will be sent to your uh, end customer you can if you wish to change the same you can just click on the change template and edit the required content get it verified and you can start using the same you will be getting this uh, whatsapp reminder option where in each and every invoice you have created so uh, with this we are done with the Uh, content part so the next thing is the faqs so the frequently asked questions regarding the year end uh, and the new uh, financial uh, year procedures so the first one is do my customers and vendors balances get carried forward to the next financial year automatically yes as i've said before uh, the previous year the closing balance will be the opening balance for the next financial year so obviously the customers or vendor balances will also get carried forward so that's why i am asking everyone to uh, keeping the ex- to keep the exact value as on 31st march 2024 in zoho books so you can just see the screenshot over here so this report has been generated for uh 1st of april 2024 so this particular customer uh is having the opening balance as 62 so this is the uh, closing balance of this customer in the previous financial year so next one is how do i view the cash flow of my organization under the report section you will be having the cash flow report under business overview report section so you can just generate the report as per the uh date range you would like to view and uh, check the your cash flow that is uh, how your money comes in and goes out of your organization so the next one is uh, how to handle prepaid expenses so basically what is prepaid expenses so uh, uh, some businesses would like to uh, you know invest in something or uh, they would like to allocate some amount for a specific purpose uh, say uh, a particular person is interested to allocate some amount for having an insurance in that particular case that person has to move that particular amount the insurance amount into a specific asset account so that's what we have created a journal for so the prepaid insurance is the asset account so we have uh, debited it and the hsbc through which the payment is done uh, has been credited so uh, this is the journal which i have shown you now and uh, once i may, I, i have uh, started to make the payment for the insurance 
that will be keep on going out from my prepaid uh, uh, insurance account yes so now the prepaid insurance account has been credited and the insurance account which is an expense account will get debited with this we have come to the end of this uh, webinar and uh, you are good to start uh, a new financial year with all uh, once all these steps are done so i hope this webinar is helpful to you so if you have any question please post it in the question tabs so we are here to help you uh, so uh, how to write off uh, vendor balances so for this you can create a uh, vendor credits and uh, close the vendor balances with the required reason for the same so uh, here we have a uh, question how to apply the unused credits to uh, invoices in bulk say i have 100 customers having 1000 invoices and 900 payments can we uh, make this set off in bulk using some automation uh, regarding automation we need to uh, check with our team and we'll update you but for now you can just do the same in zoho box for uh, each customer so uh, if you just click on the required customer who is having the unused credits for the outstanding receivable click on the option so uh, you will be able to see like what or all the excess payments or the credit uh, credits this particular customer is having and you can just click on apply to in, uh, invoices to knock it off so we have a question so can i transfer the opening balance at a later stage say after three to four months instead of while starting a new financial year uh, uh, say if you are new to zoho books and uh, just now you are entering into zoho books and uh, set up a date as a migration date in that particular uh, case the migration date will be your opening balance date you can just post all those details after three four months or whatever the time period you require you can just post it but uh, please make sure to choose the migration date accordingly so because that is the opening balance uh, which is considered by your system so based on uh, that date everything will be calculated uh, for the opening balance thing so please make sure to update the migration date after this uh, uh, like three or four months from which you are going to update this opening balance so the question is multi-currency inverse creation is possible for a customer yes so there are two type of uh, multi-currency transaction one is org level multi-currency transaction which is uh, right now available from a professional plan then the next one is advanced multi-currency invoice creation which is you can create uh, invoices for uh, multiple currency for a single customer that is a single uh, customer contact can have multiple uh, currency transaction be it in uh, AUD or uh, uh, AED or uh, US dollars whatever the uh, currency is a single customer can have multiple uh, currency transactions so the question is uh, I file GSTR 3B on the portal where in Zoho books can I say uh, the credits and the cash ledger how do I ensure that they match so once you mark the GSTR 3B as filed in Zoho books a journal will get automatically posted with the with the credits and the cash ledger matching everything with the GST portal so from there you can verify the same uh, the question is we have made advance amount to our supplier in different dates different amount like 30,000 and 40,000 now the supplier is unable to make the supplies and uh, he is returning the part amount as uh, 50,000 out of the 70,000 in this we unable to credit in the vendor account or categorize so for this what you can do is uh, that 30,000 and 40,000 you would have uh, created as, uh, it as an advance right so for that advance you can record a refund partial refund for the first 30,000 you can just record a full refund and the next 40,000 you can just make a partial refund of rupees 20,000 and match it in the bank the balance amount once you get the balance amount you can just uh, record another refund for the remaining amount and match it in the bank account uh, thank you for uh, your patience so with this we are uh, winding up the session Thank you so much for your time.